Hey, boys and girls, and good morning to you, and welcome to this year's Holiday Bible Club. Now, it's a wee bit different this year, but one thing I wanted to be the same. We're standing in a wet gazebo in Castle Island Drive for the boys and girls that come to the evening outreach. You'll know all about that. So here we are at Castle Island Drive, and we're all got together this year, and we've had to record what we're going to do for you because we can't meet together, and we're really sad about that because we so love coming down to the hall and playing games and doing our memory verses and doing our quizzes and doing our singing and hearing the story. But do you know what? We're going to be able to do all that and all your leaders have got together and they've either filmed it at home or in their garden. But we've got a full programme for you every day this week from half 10 to half 11. Now, I hope you did get the wee packs that we posted out. But if you haven't got any puzzle pages with the colouring in and the word searches or if you haven't got the craft pages, if you go on to our uh, church website, that's greenwallstreet.org, and Greenwall Street's all one word, you will be able to download. So ask mom or dad or whoever, big brother or sister, to download those pages for you and you'll be able to do the colouring in and to do the puzzles. And you know what, maybe near the end of the week, we'll be able to get you away so that we can see your pictures and I'll maybe do the usual and pick out a few good ones and send out a few prizes. So we're going to be able to do everything that we usually do. We're just not able to meet up together. But listen, we want to make sure that you're singing loud at home, doing all the actions. And do you know what? We did do some quizzes, boys and girls. And the boy leaders answered for the boys. And the girl leaders answered for the girls. And who do you think won? Well, you're going to have to wait Friday to find out. So... Before we do anything, we'll do what we usually do and we'll start with a wee word of prayer. And we'll give you wee, wee bits and pieces throughout the days just to let you know what's going to be happening, what craft you're going to need for the next day. And we're trying to keep our craft as simple at home as we can. So I hope you enjoyed your rainbows and I hope they're nice and bright and colourful. And they're on the fridge with the magnet on them. So we've lots to do this week. So please make sure that you are here every morning at half ten and that you tell your friends to watch too. Okay, so just before Bill comes and does some singing with us, let's have a wee word of prayer together. So you know what we do, we close our eyes, and we close our wee mouths, and we open our ears, and we open our hearts. And when I finish praying, we all say, Amen together. So then it's all our prayer. So let's pray together. Dear God and Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to still do our Holiday Bible Club this year. And Lord, although we miss being together and all the fun that that brings, Lord, we just pray that the boys and girls will have fun as they watch, that they'll learn more about you, that they'll sing nice and loud and sing to you, Lord, and that they'll have as much fun as possible doing everything with us here. Lord, we just want the boys and girls to know how much you love them and how much they have such a great friend if they only ask you into their hearts and Lord that's what we always want at Holiday Bible Club for the boys and girls so we just ask that you'll bless us this week we thank you that we've been able to put these programs together for the kids and we just ask that you'll be with us and bless us and it's in Jesus name we ask it amen okay so now it's time for some singing so we're going to have don't build your house on the sandy land now remember to do the actions and they sing really loud all at the same time so you ready here goes Inside, outside, upside, downside. So lots of thumbs and lots of fingers up and down. All ready to go. Here goes.
Hi everyone, and today we're going to be playing a really fun game. We're going to be playing the bean game. Now some of you might know this and some of you might not, so I'll go over what you have to do. So I'm going to call out one of the beans and I want you to do the action. So if I say string bean, I want you to be really, really tall, really tall and really thin. If I say broad bean, I want you to be really, really wide. How wide can you go? If I say runner bean, I want you to run on the spot. If I say jumping bean, I want you to jump up really tall. If I say jelly bean, I want you to be all wibbly wobbly. If I say chilly bean, you have to be really, really cold. Oh, it's freezing. If I say frozen bean, you have to freeze and not move. If I say baked bean, you have to get really, really small. If I say baked bean, of oh, beanstalk, you're going to start to grow and grow and grow and get really, really tall. Then we've got some special ones. We have French bean, where you go, ooh la la. You have Mexican bean, where you go underlay, underlay, as if you're shaking maracas. And it's cowboy bean, where you go, yee Then we have super bean, where you have to pretend to be a superhero. And that's them all. So let's see if we can remember them. Ready? Let's go for runner bean. Running on the spot. Broad bean. How wide can you go? Really, really wide. Jelly bean. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly. Ooh. Some great jelly beans. French bean. Ooh la la. No, that was, that was a bit pathetic. We can do it, we can do it better. I want to hear everyone shouting ooh la ha, la la. Ready? French bean. Ooh la la. Better. Cowboy bean. Yee ha. Chili bean. Ooh. Jumping bean. Some great bounces going on. Frozen bean. Oh, I can see people moving. Let's go. Big bean. Really, really small. Really, really small. Beanstalk. Start to grow. Start to grow. Let's see. Broad bean. Really wide. String bean. Broad bean. String bean. Broad bean. String bean, broad bean, big bean. Oh, almost caught some of you out. Let's go for jelly bean. Wibbly, 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 wibbly. Jumping bean. Wins, wins, wins. Big bean. Ooh, getting quicker. Very good. Let's go for super bean. Let's go cowboy bean. Yeeha. Mexican bean. Underlay, 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 underlay. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that seemed better. Let's go. Run a bean. String bean. 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 Broad bean. Ooh. Big bean. Beanstalk. Beanstalk. Ooh, still growing. French bean. Ooh la la. Yeah, you can get better. Cowboy bean. Yee ha. Let's see. Run bean. Frozen bean. Ooh. I can see people wobbling. Run bean. Frozen bean. Run bean. Jumping bean. It's a really tall jump beat. Big Big bean. Not very small big beans. Really small big beans. Really, really small. Really, really small. Mexican bean. Underlay, 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 underlay. French bean. Ooh la la. Jumping bean. String bean. Jumping bean. String bean. Jumping bean. String bean. Jumping bean. Big bean. French bean. Ooh la la. Super bean. Runner bean. Jumping bean. Runner bean. Jumping bean. 
Run the beam. Jump the beam. Big beam. Beam stock. Big beam. Broad beam. Big beam. Broad beam. Big beam. Broad beam. Big beam. Beam stock. Run the beam. Jump and beam. Shelly beam. Wibbly wobbly. Let's see those wibbly wobbly. Frozen beam. Oh, very good. Jump beam. Big beam. And I think I'm going to say really, 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 really small big beams. Beam stock. Ooh. I see really, really tall. And there we go. That was fantastic. Well done, everyone. Can't wait to see you all again tomorrow. Bye. Hello, boys and girls. It's now time for a memory verse. And just the same as any other year, we're going to be learning two memory verses over this next week. And the first one is found in the Old Testament, and it's found in the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 9. So we're going to learn this one today, and then tomorrow, Matthew is going to go back over it again. And then Wednesday and Thursday, you'll have a new memory verse to learn. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to say the verse and you're going to listen and then you're going to have your turn. Okay, so here goes. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9. So that's not too hard. Okay, so now it's your turn. After two, I want you all to say it nice, clear, loud voices. No shouting, just as best you can. So after two, one, two. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Very good. That wasn't too bad at all. Now, this time, I think maybe the girls could just say it on their own. Girls are always great at saying memory verses. So, I'm going to say one, two again, and I want all the girls, so if you've got any brothers... They all have to keep quiet at this time and just the girls. So after two, one, two. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Very good girls. Now boys, it's your turn. Okay, now no shouting boys, just nice loud voices and nice clear voices and let's see how well you do. So after two, one, two. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter one and verse Nine. Very good. We're all doing very well. I wonder, boys and girls, do you really know what this verse means? Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? That just means that we should be strong and full of courage. God has asked us, don't be afraid. So no matter what we're going through, boys and girls, that we always have to look to God and trust in him because he says that he will be with us wherever you go. And I know, boys and girls, maybe some of you are changing schools this year. You're moving on to different schools. And it's been so different at the minute. We haven't been at school for a long time. We haven't seen friends and family for a long time. But that's all going to change, boys and girls. And you just have to remember that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're doing, new school, different surroundings, that God is going to be with you. And we have to trust in him. We have to be strong and courageous and not be afraid. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover up some of the words and we'll see if we know it with some of the words being covered up. 
We'll just do a few to start us off with and we'll see how well we do. Okay, we'll do that to start. Right, after two everybody again. One, two. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Very good. Right, we'll cover up a few more. See how we do with this. Okay, let's have a go now. Not too many covered up, just enough. Okay, so after two, again. One, two. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Very good. Right, last two to cover up. See how we do with this. We'll cover up the first word. Let me see now. I'll try this. Okay, I'm going to have a wee go now. All right. So after two again. One, two. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9. Absolutely brilliant, boys and girls. Now, I'm going to take these off again. And um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to say it one more time. And then tomorrow, Matthew will go back over it again. Oops. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so for the last time, okay, stand up this time, all stand up on your feet, and if your mums and dads or anybody's with you, get them to say it as well, okay, and then when we're finished, you can probably go and get your own Bible and have a look at it and see if you can learn it for tomorrow. Before Matthew goes over it again. So after two, okay, big loud voices again. Let's go. One, two. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, here goes a nice loud one. I'm going to sing, 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 and remember to make sure those stripes are nice and loud. Here goes. <laughs> so badly off. Now listen carefully because there will be a quiz tomorrow. Can you guess who I'm talking about? Yes, Noah. Noah was a man who worshipped God. Everyone else around him hated God and disobeyed him. They were very wicked. One day God said something shocking. 
He told Noah, I'm going to put an end to all the people, for the earth is full of evil because of them. Only you and your family will be saved. God warned Noah that a great flood would come and cover the earth. Build a wooden ark, he said, a boat big enough for you and your family and lots of animals. And he gave Noah exact instructions on how big it was to be and how to build it. So Noah got busy. Now you may not know this, but Noah lived in the middle of a desert. So when he told the people why he was building the ark, they fell about laughing. Where was water going to come from to cause a flood in the middle of a desert? When do we get floods here? Yes, when it forgets to stop raining. Well, you might not know this either, but believe it or not, in Noah's time it had never rained. People didn't know what rain was. The only water they saw came from springs and rivers. So it's no wonder they laughed. Well, the time came to load the ark with supplies, and then came the animals. God brought seven pairs of some species and two pairs of others. Birds, great and small, beasts, tiny and tall, made their way to the ark. There were lions and tigers and elephants and giraffes and mice and horses and ducks and hens and every kind of animal and bird you could think of. And the people laughed and they shouted at Noah as he loaded the animals. And they didn't stop sinning against God and they didn't ask to enter the ark either. Finally, all the animals were on board and God said to Noah, come into the ark, you and your family. So Noah, his wife, his three sons, their wives, that's one, two, eight people, entered the ark and then God shut the door. Noah was 600 years old when he went into the ark. That's even older than me. And then the rain came. And it rained. And it rained. And then it rained some more. And for 40 days and nights. And when it stopped, oh, thank goodness. That's over. The whole earth, even the mountains, were covered in water. Everything that breathed there died, just as God had said. As the water rose, the ark floated on top. I imagine it was a bit dark inside, and probably a bit bumpy, and maybe even a bit scary, and oh, can you imagine the smell? But the ark sheltered Noah and his family and kept them safe. After 150 days, that's about 21 weeks, nearly half a year. Imagine all that time not being able to see outside, let alone go outside. After all that time, God sent a drying wind and slowly the water began to go down. After another 150 days, the tops of the mountains appeared and the ark came to rest. Noah waited another 40 days and then he sent out a raven and a dove. But they couldn't find a dry place to land, so the dove came back to Noah and the raven just flew backwards and forwards. He waited for seven more days and then he sent the dove out again. This time it came back with a fresh olive leaf. The water was going down. After seven more days, Noah sent the dove out again. And then he knew the earth was dry because the dove didn't come back. Now I'm not very good at sums, but I reckon that Noah and his family were in the ark for 392 days, give or take a day or two. That's more than a whole year. Then God opened the door of the ark and told Noah it was time to leave. Out he came with his family and all the animals. How grateful Noah was. He built an altar, altar and worshipped God who had saved him and his family from the awful flood. And God gave Noah a wonderful promise. Never again would he send a flood to punish men for their sins. And he gave a great reminder of his promise. Can you see it behind me? Yeah, the rainbow. There are a lot of rainbows in the windows of houses today to say thank you to all the people who are working to keep us safe and fed during lockdown. And it's good that we can show them we're grateful. But the next time you look at a rainbow, remember it's a reminder of God's promise to Noah and to us. Remember how he looked after Noah and his family, because Noah loved and trusted him. And if we love and trust the Lord Jesus, he will look after us too. Not just during, during lockdown, but forever and ever. Thank you for listening so well. Keep safe and God bless you all. So this, this one here, our God is a great big God. This one tells us just how super our God is. So let's sing really well to him.
us. I hope you enjoyed the story. I'm going to show you a craft based on the story. I wonder if you can guess what it is. That's right. We're going to do a craft about Noah and his ark. We're going to make this mobile. So before we start, you might want to check with your mum or dad if you need to have a covering on the table and make sure you've got someone to help you with the scissors if you're a wee one. So what you will need are two paper plates, some crayons or felt tips, glue, scissors, sellotape, some string, about 40 centimetres, and you should all have got your animals and coloured them in and cut them out. If you haven't done that bit yet, pause the video, do it, and then come back to us. And you might need to get a grown-up's help to cut them out because they are quite fiddly. So the first thing we're going to do is make our rainbow. Our rainbow covers about half of the paper plate, and I'm sure you're all experts at drawing rainbows by now. You can do whatever colours you want, but I did a red stripe the whole way round half the plate, then an orange stripe, a yellow one, a green one, a light blue one, a dark blue one and a purple one. You might want to pause the video just to get your rainbow done and when you're ready press play again. So our next step is cutting out the rainbow. So we just cut along the bottom and then cut this white little bit out as well. Again you might want to get someone to help you with the cutting out. Nice and carefully. Okay, so we have our rainbow. The next thing we need to do is the arc. So take your other paper plate and turn it over, we're going to draw on the back of it. The easiest way to do your arc is to draw a line from one side of the plate to the other, just at the middle or just below the middle. And then we're going to draw a square above the line. I take mine from the line up to that round circly bit across and down again and then we're going to cut this shape out to make our arc. And the reason why we draw on the back of the plate is that once we cut it out and turn it over the front of it doesn't have any lines on it. do is draw a window here and then colour in the arc. So a nice big window and then colour in all around the arc in brown, whatever colour you want to make your arc. So I have one I did earlier, again you might want to pause the video until you have this all coloured in. Once you have it all coloured in, we're going to stick on our animals. So, if you can find your dove, put it to one side 
the dog doesn't go on yet but we'll glue all the other animals onto the arc so I'm going to put mine all around the bottom half of it so I've got my crocodiles my polar bears and of course there's two of every animal because they went in two by two my zebras You might not have room for all of the animals or not. Ark isn't as big as Noah's was. So pick your, your favourite ones to stick on. You might just have room for my elephants. I might have to sit over the window a wee bit. So once you've all of your animals on, we need to draw Noah and his wife in the window. So just draw their faces. I think I'm gonna give Noah a big beard. A red dress. I'll draw his wife. And colour them in. Anyone remember what Noah and his family were waiting for, what they were watching for? Here they are looking out the window. They were waiting to see the dove coming back because God told them to send his dove out. We're going to take our dove and we're going to stick him on the rainbow. Does everyone remember what the rainbow was? What it was a sign of? God's promise that he would never send another flood. So we put our dove on our rainbow like this. So we've got our two pieces. And now we're going to join them with some string. So set them down on the table, face down. We want a bit of a gap between them. Draw your string up the back and take a bit of tape. And stick each bit on. Like this. And then you might need to stick your the tape on the arc, a bit on the bottom of the arc and a bit on the top so that it hangs properly. And here we go, there's your arc. And if you get a grown up to tie a loop in the top, you can hang it from a doorknob, you can hang it from your ceiling, you can put it in the window. Thanks very much, bye. Okay, hi guys, so this is Monday, so this is a general quiz, and it's between, the game is between the boys and girls. So for the girls, we have Linda, and we have Helen, and for the boys, we have Robert and David. So basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to ask the question, we're going to come up and pick one of these superhero symbols and whatever's at the back of it is a number okay and whoever gets the most wins and there is a wee special one in there so whoever gets it might have some good points at the end so i'm going to go for the girls first and the first question is very very easy some of you wee ones might be able to get it some of you young ones have done what is the name of the first man can you hear them shouting oh i hear them is it adam Adam, well done. It's in that one. You want to come and pick a simple? Wonder Woman! <laughs> one thousand! One thousand points to the girls! That's three ohms. The first keep the score. Three ohms. Okay. So the boys, the next question I'm going to ask you, and again it's very, very easy, and you wee boys might be able to answer these as well. So what is the name of Jesus' mummy? Yeah. Oh, can hear you. What did you say? Mary. Okay. Can someone like to come with us? Uh, okay. Come along to walk. Seventy. Yeah. 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 Y
Okay, now, guys, this is your next question. So, we're going on to a story in the New Testament, okay? So this story, um, my question is, what food did Jesus use to feed 5,000 people? Girls, over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Five loaves and two, two fish. Two fish. Okay, do you want to go lift the simple? Well done, girls. Oh, we'll go another one. Another one. I think it's a trick. Maybe Spider Man. Spider Man. Okay. Now, boys, this is your question. Okay. Now, can you tell me the man in the Bible, in the Old Testament, who had, who got a really, really nice coat, beautiful coat from his daddy? Easy, easy, easy. That's easy. Joseph. Oh, you should have a crack when you lift the simple. Take it, Bob. 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 Take it, Change water into wine. Well done, Helen. Brilliant. Both are wonderful in this time. Superman. Superman. Are you sure, Nyland? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
very, very close. Very close. The boys got 2,635. Well, the boys got 2,800. Here we go then. No, you can't get to heaven without S A L B A T I O N. enjoyed all the songs we've done and I hope you really enjoyed the story that you heard as well. So just before we finish up, just let you know for tomorrow what you're going to need for your craft. So our craft tomorrow is another superhero themed one and it's going to be little wristbands. Okay, so you're going to need to get this from the pack. Okay, and you need your colouring pencils and you'll need your print stick and you'll need a toilet roll holder and you'll see Xandra tomorrow showing you exactly what you have to do. So you'll have lots of fun putting all that together. So, just to finish up now, we'll just have a quick word of prayer and we'll all talk to God again together. And remember that big Amen at the end. Okay? So here goes. Loving Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to share the stories about God and about Jesus uh, with the young people. Lord, we thank you that so many have tuned in today to see, to see what was going on, Lord. And we thank you for the, the fun and enjoyment that we've all been able to share together. Lord, just now help us to have a really good day with anything that we're doing, Lord. And just help us to remember that you are always there beside us. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.